I've tried to film this intro like five times. I just cannot find the right words to say. <laughs> it's Kylie and welcome back to my channel if you're new hi nice to meet you if you're not new how have you been so if you're somebody who is trying to build their dream closet you have come to the right video In today's video I'm gonna be showing you 10 plus essentials that you must like you need in your closet to start your journey in fashion I guess if that makes sense that was a little corny um so right here on the rack I have a couple of clothing pieces that I think are a good start when building your closet and they definitely helped me when I got these they helped me build my closet they're not super like they're you know stuff that you are that are affordable and they're easy to style they're kind of basic necessities so you know if when it comes to like making outfits and fashion and all of that the key is to make everything flow in your outfits. Like, you know, if you have a hat and the hat might complement something that's on your shirt, but then you layered it with like a jacket. It's just all, everything complements each other and it all flows and the outfit goes together. These pieces will definite, definite, definitely obtain that. That's the word I was looking for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started with the video. It would be this way or this way. Okay, so the first thing we have is a simple flannel. So flannels are something that can um, can complement, make a basic outfit look a little bit not so basic. So how I would match this flannel is putting like um, maybe like a white t-shirt with like a design on it underneath and then a pair of cargos and any shoes that I want to. That's how I'd match my flannel. But flannels are a good start to something. They're super inexpensive. You can buy them at literally um, a thrift store and they're like for a buck. All right, next have normal pair of baggy jeans. So this is kind of like a given. Jeans I think are very, very important to any closet it's just so basic and easy and you can match literally anything with a pair of jeans so these jeans I got from Zara they're just baggy like momish jeans they have a slit in them but I really like this color because it matches with like lighter colors um, but jeans really go with anything and they're so basic that if you do like plain jeans you can do some really cool shoes and really accentuate your outfit on the top half so you know layering up or wearing a really cool shirt i could wear these jeans is wearing these jeans and then doing i have this bright pink varsity jacket that i have a picture of on my instagram i'll pull it up on the screen i would wear that varsity jacket with these jeans and a pair of shoes and everyone would look to the varsity jacket first but it the outfit will flow together because you know jeans are so basic baggy mom jeans are definitely a good piece that you want in your closet that you can match anything with all right next we have hoodies so really any hoodie would do um especially hoodies that are one solid color are good use because you can add another jacket on top of it since it's just a plain color so with like this hoodie i got this from urban and it's just a champion's hoodie it's really comfortable and it's just a normal gray and like how i would style this is i could honestly wear like so you guys see these red pants i don't know if you can see these red pants that i'm wearing right here they have like a lot going on on the pants i want to show you okay so they have like a lot going on on the pants i could wear these like super vibrant pants and wear this basic hoodie with maybe let's say like a puffer jacket over it and then some like black shoes and it'll the outfit would all go together because I'd have super like noticeable pants but then like a basic top that still looks good that matches with the pants because not a lot would match with these pants but a basic hoodie even like a black hoodie or a cream hoodie would match with these pants so I would say you know getting any color hoodie get starting off with getting a gray hoodie a plain gray hoodie a plain black hoodie a plain brown hoodie just plain color hoodies is good especially in the winter time because you can layer with hoodies all right next thing we have is a basic 
puffer jacket. Now it can be any color. I just have my normal North Face black puffer 700. Um, this, I have a whole video on TikTok of how I styled this different ways, but you can really style a puffer jacket so many different ways, especially if it's just one solid color. North Face has a lot of good colors. They have white, they have yellow, they have red, they have black, they have like every single color. So I think when you're going to look for a North Face jacket, I mean for a jacket, I would, for a puffer, I would go for North Face, but I know that those are kind of expensive. They're like around $200. So if you're looking for a cheaper option, of course you can go and look for puffer. I'm sure they have puffers at like Zara and um, really anywhere. Just look up online puffer jackets and there's probably gonna be cheaper options. But just getting a normal puffer because you can style it um, and puffer jackets are usually one solid color. Like I know the North Face is black at the top and then it could be like a yellow, but black really goes with anything anyways. So a puffer is a good way to style your outfits because you can have like I said, a hoodie and then put a puffer over it and have some pants and it would look good. I know that I styled this puffer with my Yeezy Gap hoodie, which is like a maroon color, which is one solid color. I had that on and then I put this over top and then some leather pants and my Yeezy boots. I'll put the picture up here and the outfit looked like I personally loved the outfit and it was just like it had like a solid theme going on. All right, next is actually a set. So sets are really, really good to have in your closet because it's an outfit as it is. A set is just an outfit. And with sets, you can style them and you can layer them and style them however you want because you already have the top and bottom. Now you can add more stuff to your set and just shoes, jewelry, a jacket, anything like that. This set that I have right here is, this is actually from Zara. It's just a plain brown brown it's like a crew neck but it's a little bit thinner than a hoodie and then the sweatpants are a little bit thinner too so it looks like this it's just a plain plain brown color so here is my outfit now i just have to accessorize the outfit so you know i could add like a um what's it called trench coat over it so then i have a jacket and then i could add a nice tote to it i would wear these with let's say my um my new balances and then adding jewelry so i could add some gold jewelry some gold rings some gold bracelets gold hoops and then there's my outfit right there it's like simple but it all goes together and all i had to add to it was a jacket because this i didn't have to do anything else because the set was already set as it is and then of course what's good about sets is that now you have a top and a bottom so you can match this top with something else i can match these bottoms with something else when building your closet i definitely would look into getting different sets different colors um different designs all of that all right next is when i say you need a pair of cargos in your closet. You need a pair of cargos because they're not, they're a plain pair of pants, but they have so much detail to cargos. There's so many different cargos out there. There's so many different designs of cargos. So these are actually a pair of my favorite like khaki cargos. They look like this, they're bell bottomy. And I actually thrifted these and I wish I didn't thrift them and I bought them so I could know exactly where you guys can buy them. They're these cause they're like my favorite pants in the world. But they just look like this. Um, usually cargos are either like a khaki cream, a khaki color or um, a green or black. You can have all sorts of different color cargos. So like, let me show you my black pair. Okay, so here's my black pair of cargos. These are from Dolls Kill. Um, these are actually one of my favorites. They got strings and a lot of pockets in them. And then these are my khaki colors. They got some pockets going in them and these are both of them. Um, flare out at the bottom. That's why I, I love cargos because with cargos you can match. Um, it's like one solid color, but it adds a lot to your out. It makes your outfit look cooler just because there's a lot going on in the cargos. You got some big pockets, you got some strings coming out of them. They're flared up out at the bottom. So that's why I really, really like cargos. So like with, with these, I could match it with, um, let me think like, I have a green varsity jacket that I could match this with. And then for these black cargos, you can really match anything with this, like a graphic tee or a sweater or really anything like that. Cargos are really easy to style. 
Next thing is a pair of leggings. Not leggings. It's a pair of uh, leather pants. So I'm trying to bring the same point across as cargos. They just match with a lot of things and leather pants can be, are usually one solid color. So these are my black ones that I got from um, this brand. And these are like waxed and they flare out at the bottom. So they're usually how leather pants work is they'll be tight at the top and then they flare out at the bottom as a lot of pants are. Um, but leather pants go with so much. That, like you could wear this with a bodysuit and then have the puffer over it and then have a pair of shoes. Like I could do the, uh, these leather pants with a white bodysuit. Um, my Lan Lavons, Lanvins, I don't know how to pronounce it, okay? And then my puffer jacket, and that's a fit right there. Um, it's basic, but it still looks good, if that makes sense. Okay, so next is a bodysuit. So I just started recently getting into bodysuits. Um, so I only have a few now, but and I didn't always wear bodysuits, but now I'm starting to love bodysuits because not only can you layer so much with bodysuits, you can wear them under like anything and the bodysuit doesn't even have to show but it'll keep you warm because it's a long sleeve bodysuit so you could wear like a bodysuit with a sweater over it and then another another jacket if you live in a really cold area um even if the bodysuit's not going to show but other than that the bodysuit is really nice because you can wear such a plain you can really build your outfit based off of the bodysuit so like think of the bodysuit as being a blank ca canvas if you were to paint something you know you had a, a blank white canvas and then you just paint on that it's the same thing with this white bodysuit so you would start off with this and then you could add a cool pair of like even like cargos with this i could add like a cropped jacket over it um and then a pair of shoes and you know people wouldn't necessarily be looking at the bodysuit, they would be looking at all the other stuff, but you can base that outfit on this just bodysuit. So that's why I think bodysuits are super important. And even if you want just like a plain outfit, like you don't want like a super showy outfit, this is a good way to go too. All right, next we have a pair of camo pants. I feel like any style, a lot of styles wear camo pants. They're just a good universal, this like pair of pants to have. With camo pants, you can match them with solid colors. So if you have like a solid blue hoodie, it would look really good. And then just a pair of shoes with these cargo pants. Or if you have a solid color shirt, it would look good. Even graphic t-shirts would look really good with this, um, like a black graphic tee and then some shoes and stuff. So cargos are kind of like the base of your outfit. If you're working with cargos, I would say it'd be more the base of your outfit and to work around the cargos because this itself is already the design. You can't really match other designs with cargos. So I would say just stick to more color wise, but cargos are a good um, item to have there. You can literally find them at thrift stores too, cargo pants, or you can look up online cargo pants um, on like Depop, Grailed. I got these from Grailed, so look on that app because they have really good cargos on there. Next we have just normal sweatpants. So these sweatpants I got from Urban. They just look like this. Um, normal gray sweatpants are good to have because you can wear them like on a chill fit day. So wearing just normal sweatpants, a hoodie, stuff like that. And uh, sweatpants are more for like a casual outfit. Like obviously you don't want to wear sweatpants with um, what's it called? Heels, if that makes sense. You would more, like, you know, do sweatpants and um, with a pair of sneakers. Like, it's a more chill outfit. Um, so I think that's good for when you don't want to, you want to be comfortable but still want your outfit to look good. Sweatpants are good. You can get black ones, gray ones. I have a black pair, dark gray, uh, all that brown, like, in that set. So sweatpants are a good item to have in your closet, too. All right, the last item I have on this hanger, on this rack is graphic tees. This is a given. Um, graphic tees you can get for so cheap. You can thrift graphic tees. You can find them online. Um, I like graphic tees are just a normal essential that you would want to have in your closet because a graphic tee can go with a pair of sweatpants. A graphic tee can go with a pair of cargos. A graphic tee can go with a pair of jeans. Graphic tees go with a lot as long as that's the main focus of your outfit. So I think that's really important when starting off your closet is because you can match graphic tees with a lot. Um, but that is it that I have for this video. 
that is 10 plus essentials that I think you should have when you're starting off starting your wardrobe and building your wardrobe. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful. If it was, give it a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any upcoming videos. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.